is News 10 at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tyler Meyerly. And I'm Carmine Jamey. Thank you for joining us. We'll give Holden the honors tonight with starting off our show. It's his last first weather, but also a storm headed our way, possibly. Yeah, we are going to be tracking those thunderstorms as we head into the weekend, but He's tonight, on Monday, but then as we head towards Tuesday, 90 degrees. So certainly, guys, it's shaping up to be a really nice week next Lovely week. Lovely weather for us to all and enjoy it uh, all next week. Yes, we sure will. We just want to give a very heartfelt thank you for watching our final News 10 at 11. You can always follow still on our website, ktvl.com. And tonight for our final good night, everybody, have a great night. Finally, some news about us. The News 10 team that has joined you in your living room each day for the past 61 years, bringing you the local news that matters to you. Change is a part of life, and there are some changes on the horizon for KTBO. Starting Monday, you'll see a new news product in place of this broadcast. It's called the National Desk, and it will provide regional and national news. And we at News 10 cannot even begin to express what a pleasure it has been to work so hard for you our viewers. We take pride in being fortunate enough to tell your community stories, your neighbors' stories, and most importantly, your stories. And we've been honored to meet several of you out in the community and hope to see you again in the future. We thank you for watching our News 10 team every evening. We will miss you. apprenticeship program celebrated the graduation of one of their largest classes yet as they hope to fill the need for the profession in the metro. The grand opening for Omaha's newest concert venues is today coming up. Local reaction. We're tracking severe thunderstorms rolling through Nebraska right now. We'll have the latest on that coming up. Fox 42 News at 9 starts right now. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Monty Torres. A lot going on outside weather-wise. Chief Meteorologist Chris Kuiper is here to fill us in. Chris? Lots of thunderstorms across eastern Nebraska this evening. and We've had a tornado watch, an effect for the area, which has just expired. But that doesn't mean we still can't have severe thunderstorms and maybe even a little isolated tornado out there as well at this hour. Let me show you the radar picture. Of And as you just heard, this will be our last newscast as part of the Fox 42 KPTM News at 9. We want to thank you for your trust and for letting us be your source for news and information these past, at least for me, 10 years, more years than that, I think. Very grateful for that. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve you in that way. So now, for one last time, from all of us here at Fox 42 KPTM News, thanks for watching. Good night and God bless. Starts right now with breaking news. Severe weather slamming Siouxland once again tonight with hail, high winds, and even tornadoes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Katie Koppel. And I'm Larry Wentz. And tonight, our weather is first at 10 o'clock. Chief Meteorologist Kat Taylor leads things off for us in the Siouxland Weather Center. Kat, what are we looking at with these storms now? And we had a pretty crazy evening tonight. Yes, we did. What a night to go out, right? We have a a new severe thunderstorm warning. Unfortunately, this is for Monona County uh, for the next uh, 30 minutes or so, where we have the potential for some half dollar Four. size hail. Please stand by. You're watching Siouxland News at sunrise. Siouxland News at 5. Siouxland News at 9. Siouxland News at 10 starts now. Whenever or wherever you watch your local news, there are the things you see and then the things you don't. I will take you behind the scenes of what it takes Final you time see. in Dakota Dune, South Dakota, Joe McMahon, Siouxland News. 
Finally tonight, some of you may have already heard, this is our last newscast here on CBS Siouxland and Fox Siouxland. We have had the pleasure of working with so many wonderful people in front of and behind the camera over the years. Far too many to name, but we cherish their contributions to our newscast, and most of all, we cherish their friendship. We've been a family who've pulled together during the bad and stressful times, the good and exciting times, and we've done it the last nine years under the guidance of news director Diana Castillo. k went on the air in 1967 with the newsroom that closed in a similar manner about 10 years later. It was 1999 when the station relaunched news under the guidance of Kim Bridger, the late Bob Grotenheis, and Woody Gottberg. During these 24 years, we've won numerous awards for our news, weather, and sports casting, but our greatest pride came from serving you, our community. It has been an honor that you allowed us into your home and made us a part of your family. On Monday, we are transitioning to the National Desk and a new way of delivering the news. But as we sign off on this broadcast, we want to say one last time, thank you and good night. Now, during our last 5 p.m. newscast earlier this evening here on CBS Siouxland, we were joined by a host of former K-Makers, a number of them who actually helped put the station on the air back in 1967. We want to thank them and you for being part of the family. And look at some of those folks who were there, Larry Findlay, Gene Ambrosian, Dave Madsen, Tim Poppins, Cindy Deck, who was back then known as Cindy Marsh back in uh, 1976. Vicki Jacobs, uh, Sue Stevens, who ran the front desk for many years. Of course, some of you remember Travis Morgan and Owen Sebring and our longtime engineer, Dennis Quinn. Just, just too many to mention, but again, we want to thank you for being a part of our family all these many years. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Sue Land. We love you. Thanks for being here tonight with us on CBS Ford News at 11. I'm Alexis Cruz. We start tonight with weather from meteorologist Jennifer Collins. Jennifer, how's our Mother's Day weekend looking? Well, a few showers, maybe an isolated storm will still be possible through the midnight hours. And then it's early hotel. tomorrow morning. And I'm Ryan Dickerson, CBS, CBS Ford Sports. So we'll bring it an afternoon storm chance on Saturday. Mix of sun and clouds on Sunday and still unsettled for the start of next week. Some news to share with you all tonight. It will be our last broadcast for CBS 4 News. As a proud Florida Gator alumna, I can't tell you how much it's meant to me to be covering stories in this community once again. We appreciate every single one of you who have tuned in to watch us on air and online who have shared their stories with us on their best and brightest days and the hardest days. With that being said, there are some programming changes you need to know about. Starting Monday, May 15th, you can watch the National Desk with the latest breaking news, investigative reports, and other national headlines you need to know about. We look forward to you being a part of a new season here at CBS4. We hope you have a wonderful evening. This is NBC 24 News at 11. The two men who pleaded guilty in March to cheating during an Ohio fishing tournament were sentenced this week. Jacob Runyon and Chase Kaminsky.
the chance for a couple isolated showers as we go through the overnight and into tomorrow morning, especially if you're south of the Toledo area. We'll see that shower chance just for the morning hours, and then we'll dry out through the afternoon. We will keep the cloud cover around. Temperatures not going to drop too far. We'll start off in the low 60s tomorrow, make it into the low 70s through the afternoon. It's going to be much cooler if you're right along Lake Erie. We will have a northeasterly breeze in play as we go through the day. We'll keep that northeasterly wind in place heading into Mother's Day. Mother's Day should be pretty decent for us. We're looking mostly dry. Some cloud cover will be with us, but again, should be dry and decent for your outdoor plants. Temperatures will be a touch below average. We'll make it into the mid 60s through the afternoon. Cooler along the lakeshore areas. We are going to see some sunshine returning as we get into Monday and the first part of the new work and school week. We'll keep temperatures uh, right around or below average all the way through midweek, Aaron. And Jessica, I'd be remiss if I didn't say this. It has been such an honor. It, it's been such a joy working with you. You're fantastic at what you do. It, it, everybody in that building, it's, been, it's just been a great Back three years. It's been, it's been a, quite a ride past uh, three years for you, I think four years for me at this point. It's been great being back home and uh, getting to see my family and friends more often and uh, being close to Lake Erie, which is fantastic and so much fun working with all of you. Yeah, all right. Best of luck to you. Well, that is your local news at 11 for the final time. Thank you all so much for watching. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon is coming your way next.